the coughing. The musky air that fills our rows permeates even through the ash-infested vents from the fires, eating away at the barks of trees like this moment, eating away at the last dose of happiness lingering on the dust of our bones. The other night, wrapped in crispy motel sheets, I clenched my body and pretended I was an embryo in my mother's womb. It was the only source of warmth and comfort that could take me to sleep. But now, I see the sheep out the window on green pastures. I hope they have water. I sometimes imagine myself being reincarnated as one and jumping over these low wire fences to freedom. I wonder how far I could make it without a human catching me, taming me, bringing me back to their living painting, a life to look at as they wash the dishes, smeared with my mother's milk that they stole from me. It's raining, finally, and the van is slowly drifting into the other lane. Eddie is driving. Everyone else is asleep. Sometimes coming up for air, their heads poking up like groundhogs before sinking back into their holes. But it's not all dark and grim. There are moments of hope. They come to me when it's quiet. They come to me when everyone is synced in their levels of happy, which doesn't happen often. So when it does, it's nice.